Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, let us understand a concept-based question which is tested in Drug Inspector in recently concluded uh, Telangana State Public Service Commission. Now, look at the question first. What is the name given to hypertension with a known cause? Options given are secondary hypertension, malignant hypertension, essential hypertension, primary hypertension. Now, before answering that, we need to understand the options. Now, hypertension is increase in blood pressure. Pressure exerted by the blood on the walls of artery. Artery will be like this. Blood volume will be here. And the volume of blood will exert pressure on these walls. That is what we call it as blood pressure. Now, when you see primary hypertension is nothing but hypertension which people get without any known cause. You know, after a certain age, people will get hypertension. There won't be any cause for that. Just they will get hypertension. That is called as primary hypertension. Because it is caused by unknown cause, it is also known as idiopathic hypertension. Idiopathic means without any cause. There is also another name is there for this, essential hypertension. Essential hypertension, people used to think that hypertension is required for regular maintenance of human body. Understand this one. See, what happens if someone has got hypotension, low blood pressure? When blood pressure is not enough, blood reaching to brain will get reduced. If brain is not getting enough blood, people will get faintedness, which may also leads to coma also. So they thought hypertension is essential, hence they named it as essential. Later research has proven that you need to have a normal tension, 120 by 80 is required, but still people use the same name. So primary hypertension, essential hypertension, idiopathic hypertension, all of them are same. They are because of unknown cause. There may be factors which will cause this hypertension, factors like age, Genetics, environment, obesity, smoking, alcohol, all may be factors, but you cannot exactly say this is the cause. So when you don't know the cause, that is called as primary hypertension. Secondary hypertension is with a particular cause. If there is a kidney damage or if there is a uh, adrenal gland problem or if there is a high thyroid problem, because of all these problems, people will get hypertension. So primary problem is this disease, kidney disease, thyroid problem or uh, adrenal gland problem and because of that hypertension comes hence it is called as secondary hypertension. So the question asks what the name given to the hypertension with a known cause that is secondary hypertension. So option one is correct. Let us, let us understand a little bit more about secondary hypertension. What happens when there is a kidney disease is there? During kidney disease renin levels increases. If renin is increased, angiotensin levels will get increases. Angio means blood vessel, tension means causing contraction. When blood vessel is contract, contracted, blood pressure increases. So any kind of kidney disease mostly results in hypertension. Now, adrenal gland problems. You know, you can see the adrenal gland. Adrenal gland releases a lot of hormones. Cortisol, aldosterone and steroid hormones. Cortisol, aldosterone, both of them increases hypertension. Cortisol causes vasoconstriction aldosterone increases fluid volume of the blood again it increases pressure so that is also causes hypertension hyperthyroidism also causes hypertension certain drugs which will cause vasoconstriction they also cause uh, hypertension so all these are primary reasons and it results in a hypertension hence it is called as secondary hypertension now let us understand another option known as malignant hypertension again see these are two simple words benign malignant benign means mild to moderate hypertension Malignant means severe hypertension. A sudden severe hypertension which will cause organ damage is called as malignant hypertension. See, every organ gets blood supply. If the blood coming is, with, is coming with a lot of pressure, it damages the organ. Hence, it is called as malignant hypertension. Usually, the most affected organs are brain, heart, kidney, even eyes. There is a condition called as papilloedema. The redness of eye and everything is because of malignant hypertension. To treat this severe hypertensive crisis, intravenous sodium nitroprusside, nitroglycerin, nifedipine, uh, phenol dopam, all these are vasodilators. These drugs are used. So this is about hypertension concept. So to learn and know about more of such kind of concept, join my classes. The class link is given under this uh, video description. All the best.